the characters that I play, the work that I get to do, I'm very lucky and I, I'm very lucky that I get to collaborate with designers and hair people and stuff to make a character look intentionally different from the way that I look. And I like that part of it too. I got to say, I'm very excited to talk about this show. Uh, I've been a big fan of it since it launched and season three, I think might be its best yet. Uh, it's so funny and so emotional. Uh, it's so many great things. Uh, BD, I'd actually like to come to you first. I love, uh, one of the things I love about the show as someone who enjoys your work is it feels very against type for you, uh, and how Wally just seems like he's all over the place while also trying to show that he has it all together. And season three feels like the epitome of that, where he's just on that pinnacle of the happiest time of his life while also kind of stuck in a rut. What was it like for you really exploring this latest chapter of his life this season? Really great. Uh, really, really great. I'm, I feel very lucky. And, and you know, um, I, I feel that the, 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 your best characters are the characters that have, you know, the, the highest highs and the lowest lows. And I think that he really is getting put through it this season. And, and as he has been throughout the whole show, but really in season three especially. And so as an actor, you, you there, there's like a deep dive you can do, you know, like you can really go and explore these extremes and for comedy, it's really, it's really great. I, I, I can't, I can't tell you how much I enjoy it. I mean, I, I can't say enough about how much I enjoy it. I really love doing this show and I really have felt that I do also think that season three is our best season. As much as I'd love to see more, I almost want this to be the final one so you can't top yourselves. But at the same time, you never know. I mean, you just you've kept doing it with each season. Uh, and, and Lori coming to you next. I mean, the the relationship between uh, Nora and her grandmother has just been so heartwarming to see uh, with each new season. Uh, but I also love this season seeing her you know, getting on Wally's case even more as he finds himself, you know, kind of spiraling downward. What was it like to explore that new dynamic with him uh, this season in comparison to prior seasons? Actually, I was very happy whenever the scripts came to uh, see my relationship with Wally. Uh, it, it, more for him to do more uh, turmoil, more, uh, you know, things that uh, uh, grandma couldn't help him. She just had to watch him fall pick him up again and, you know, watch him pick himself up again. Uh, it was um, um, emotionally uh, very important for me to see that. And and I enjoyed his, his character's growth. Now, by the end of the season, the kind of, you know, intergenerational, like I, you know, I have my own relationship with Nora and then Lori has her own relationship with Nora. And then Lori has her relationship with me. And so there's this parallels and there's kind of like, you know, watching your kid fail is a thing that's in the show. Um, and and that's that's nice. You don't see that in a lot of shows. Mm -hmm. You really don't. And uh, but I love the way it plays out, especially uh, by the end of the season. I mean, I don't want to give spoilers away, but at the same time, you know, th this does have one of the happiest endings I've ever seen for a show. Uh, uh, Lori, especially for you and, and Nora, or Grandma and Nora. Uh, I, I love the next chapter of their journey together. Uh, uh, I, what was it like when you saw, you know, what was your first reaction when you saw that script and you saw where you two were going to be going next together? You know, there's always uh, different possibilities, you know, uh, uh, never know what the writers are going to write. It's always been a, a, a pleasant obstacle course to go through every season. And uh, I would expect that in, in any time, you know. So uh, it was very pleasant. Now, BD, with you, one of the the big changes I love seeing from Wally this season is the hair. Uh, <laughs> I love the little glow up he gets uh, towards the end of the season. And, you know, with uh, his look has always been something that's been interesting where he cares about certain aspects, not other aspects. But what <laughs> And the hair feels like one of them. And so I'm curious what that was like for you, you know, to, to finally get to bring your own, you know, in in real life look uh, to the character near the end of this season. Everybody has their blind spots about the way they look or, the you know, whatever. And everybody has their way of um, particularly as, as some people get older, they hold on to the way that they looked before and they, they they're trying to like kind of. 
But and I think Wally's kind of this Wally, not necessarily real life Wally, but this Wally is a little bit like that. And I think it was it's, it was great for me. I mean, I wanted I wanted I think I, I wanted something to happen in the end of the show that that brought everybody kind of a sense of happiness and and like you were talking about. And th- that the way that somebody looks when they kind of have a makeover or whatever, that can kind of be a part of their something unlocking inside them. And so it, to me, it's kind of a symbolic for the, the state that he's actually in. And I love that. And I have always wanted that for him towards the end. I mean, I, when we got to the third season and I said, OK, so it's time now, I think. I think, you know, I was saying to Teresa and Nora, I think it's time if it's OK that he actually gets to have this happen. And and it was really um, kind of cathartic in some ways, um, but I also liked the way he looked and the way you know I mean I, he the, the, the characters that I play the work that I get to do I'm very lucky and I, I'm very lucky that I get to collaborate with designers and hair people and stuff to make a character look t- intentionally different from the way that I look and I like that part of it too. So um, he had his own kind of creation and I and I and it was and it made it a lot of fun. It was certainly fun to see the reveal uh, and and certainly, like you say, almost a a very cathartic uh, moment to see him start to find that happiness for himself. Yes, and not in not arbitrary. Right. It's to let, you know, with with storytellers and storytelling, you really want to make gestures like this that are really relate. You get the most bang for your buck. If you're going to do it, you do it for a real good reason. And I think we couldn't have found a better reason than the one that they, that, that, that was found, that, that, that the timing of it and everything. And we actually were uh, having to decide, actually, when is this going to happen? And so when it happened, it was it kind of perfectly timed with the, the choices that he was making and the things that he was doing. He makes a big, what we call a big gesture in the show. And when it happened for that big gesture, um, it, was, it was great. It, it was just great. I couldn't agree more. And I really look forward to when audiences get to see it. Uh, I see my my time wrap coming in. So thank you both so much for taking the time to chat. Thank I, you. I adore thank this you. show. Thank you. Absolutely. Have a good rest of your weeks.